Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how we can import different assets from Sketch and Figma to After Effects. So let's begin. Hello again and the first thing we will do is to go to Shape.so which is a collection of different illustrations and icons that we at Design Plus Code are working on. So the thing we will do here is to just download one of the illustrations and work with that in a sketch and Figma. I think this illustration looks really cool so let's work with this one and if you're a pro member of Shape you will be able to download this illustration in SVG but no worries I will add this SVG to our exercise file. So let's go to the drop down and choose SVG and let's hit export and we have our SVG so let's start working with Figma. Let's go to Figma and over there let's open our download folder and let's just drag and drop the SVG. Okay, good. So let's set up this illustration so it can be very easy to export it to After Effects. The first thing I will do, I will just create an artboard. And this artboard will be 1920 by 1080. Okay, perfect. Now we'll put the illustration inside the artboard. And then let's ungroup the illustration. So let's right click and choose ungroup. Okay, perfect. So I think we can use some new colors for the illustration so it can be more distinctive. And I don't want to be so boring talking about colors, so I will use the magic of the edition and boom, there you go, you have new colors for the illustration. Now, I would like to make a small parenthesis over here and talk a little bit about the installation process of the plugins that we will use to import our different assets to After Effects. So maybe you are wondering how we will import all these different assets from Sketch or Figma to After Effects. So let me introduce you to this cool plugin called After Effects UX and you can find it in aeux.io and by the way this plugin is for free and it is supported by the Google Motion Design team led by the amazing Adam Plough. So guys don't waste more time and just download the plugin. So the first thing you need to do is to click on the link over here and this will take us to the bottom of the page. And over here you can see that we have different instructions of how to install the plugin in a sketch also in After Effects. If you're using Figma, don't worry, you don't need to install any plugin. But anyways, you know, I will take you to the whole process. But regarding if you're using a sketch or Figma, don't forget to install the plugin in After Effects. Okay, good. Now that we talk about the installation process, let's continue with our Figma exercise. So now that we are happy with the colors of our illustration, let's go to share. Over there, let's copy the link of the file and let's go back to Chrome. In Chrome, you will see that we have this tab called Figma Converter. Let's click here. And as you can see, this is where we need to paste the link of our file. So now let's hit the arrow so the site will connect to our Figma file. And there you go. So normally the asset should appear over here, but you know, as any other app, sometimes it has some issues. Also, I recommend you to use Chrome instead of Safari or Firefox. Since this is a plugin made by Google, it works better on Chrome. Now, let's download our JSON file. And there you go. Okay, perfect. Now, we need to go back to After Effects. And over there, we create a new composition. We will call it Figma. With a size of 1920 by 1080. And let's hit OK. So I already have the plugin as a side panel as you can see here, but in case you don't have that, you can go to window, then extensions and choose the plugin so you can open this panel. Okay, good. Now let's continue. So I will click on the clip icon and over there I will choose the After Effects UX.json. So this will open my JSON file. And as you can see, I have all my assets imported from Figma to After Effects. And as you notice, it is a very simple process. And of course, we can improve the composition. So for example, we can go to the tab bar and choose composition and over there composition settings. And we can change the color of the background. So maybe we can choose a white. Okay. And yeah, it's looking better. Now that we finish all our process in Figma, let's move to a sketch. Now I will create a new composition for a sketch hidden in this icon and I will call the composition sketch. Okay, good. Now, let's open our sketch file. So let's go back to sketch and over there we need to import our SVG. So we will create an artboard, again 1920 by 1080. Okay, good. And over there is where we will drag our SVG. 
So let's open our download file and we can drag and drop our illustration. Okay, good. Now, let's ungroup our SVG. So I will just right click to it and I will choose ungroup. Okay, perfect. Now our final step. So let's change its colors. And again, you know, I will use the magic of the edition so we can change the colors really fast. And boom, there you go. We have new colors for the illustration. Okay, we are ready to export these assets to After Effects. So let's go to the tab bar and let's click on plugin. Then let's choose After Effects UX and then open panel. Now that we have our panel open, let's click on send section to After Effects, making sure that we select the right artboard. Let's go back to After Effects and over there again. Let's click on Build Comp and there you go. You have all the different assets from Sketch to After Effects. And if we compare with Figma, you know, it's the same thing. So this is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. Until then, see you in the next one. Ciao.